What's up, YouTube Nation? It's your boy Trident Fishing. Do you want to know how to install a bilge pump on your boat from start to finish? Well, then stick around. So this is my 14-foot John boat. It's an Alumacraft, and like any other boat, it fills up with water, and I really don't want to have to bucket out water every time I go out fishing. So I bought a Seaflow 75, uh, 750 gallon per hour bilge pump, battery, switch, everything. And in my next set of videos, I'm going to show you how to install it from beginning to end. I'll either have two or three videos. I'm going to have everything linked that you need to buy down below. So literally from start to finish, if you watch the videos, buy the products on Amazon, You'll have everything you need to do a bilge pump from start to finish. All right, let's go ahead and get started. This is the Seaflow switch I bought off of Amazon. I'll, of course, have that link down below. This is the 750 gallon per minute Seaflow bilge pump that I bought. I'll also have that link down below. Let's go ahead and take a look at the battery and let's get started with this video. So, this is the battery I bought. And I bought the battery box. I'll link that down below in the account in the description also. But this is the battery I bought. It weighs about 22 pounds. It's a 12 volt, 35 amp hour. Interesting enough, this is the box it came with. This is the smallest battery box I could find. And so what I did was I just kind of kept this box and kept this all together. This is the final piece this is the tubing I also got on Amazon and I will also link that down below okay so this next part what I'm gonna do is actually drill into the seat of the boat so this is an aluminum I'm gonna have a combination of my sawzall and a hand saw and what I'm gonna do is install this so if you look at this switch it comes with four screws Look at the back of this thing. What I'm going to have to do is cut the metal to where this little lip can sit on the metal. So what I did was I got some cardboard and cut this out. So, so that way I know exactly how much to cut. So for reference, two and one quarter inch. So basically the next step is to decide where do you want to put your bilge pump. This is what felt comfortable for me. And what I will do is I will trace out the square and then come around back after digging out the foam and then I'll make a hole here and then I'll bring the wires from the bilge pump to the switch to the battery. So I've chosen this spot specifically because if you see the angle, I want to give it a little bit of room to go down and sit there and then have a little bit of room for the wires to come out. The next step is I'm going to trace out the line here and there's no real easy way to start it. So what I'm going to probably do is put pilot holes and then try and get my sawzall blade in there to cut the aluminum. Okay, really, once you get that Sawzall in there, it is like a hot knife to butter. So there's the mess I made. Now I have to go in there and dig out the foam. I'm gonna dig down a little bit deeper so that way I can then come on the other side and hit it with a bigger drill bit. Don't know quite how I'm gonna seal that up yet, but we'll find out. So 
So the blade I'm using, in case you're wondering, is a thick metal blade. It has less teeth than your traditional uh, demolition or wood pruning blade. Okay, so the next step is I need to come in here and find a good spot to put my next pilot hole. So that's about three and a half inches. I'm out here sweating like a Mississippi pimp with one hoe. So as you can tell, I'm pretty happy so far. So the next step is I'm gonna get the wire set up with the bilge pump. That'll be in the next video. Thank you guys very much. I'm gonna have them all linked either in this corner, this corner, this corner, or this corner. I'm gonna set them up in order of how I kind of feel you should navigate through them. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. Peace.